Hi everyone, today I'm starting with a bare face because I'm going to do the tag, the five product face challenge. And this was a recommendation in my giveaway video where I asked for video recommendations. Someone said to do this and I looked it up and I think it was a tag that was popular about a year ago. So I did not do it then and it seemed like a good, interesting challenge where you can, you need to do your whole entire face makeup but only using five products. So I thought it seemed something fun. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. The first product I'm using is from Laura Mercier and this is the Mineral Powder and I'm in the shade Soft Porcelain and I'm going to take that on my Sephora Professional Mineral Powder brush and just buff it all into my skin. I chose a mineral powder instead of a regular like cream or liquid foundation because this is actually really great for controlling my oil throughout the day with a liquid or cream foundation or even a BB cream. I feel like I have to set it so that would have been another product to use up. So that's why I chose to use this mineral powder foundation. Instead of using a concealer, I'm going to continue to use the um, Laura Mercier powder. Now I'm just going to use it on a concealer brush, and this is one from Bare Minerals. And since this is a denser brush, it's going to give me a little bit more coverage, so I'm going to use this on any spots and extra redness that the initial application of the powder didn't cover. I'm going to make sure to take this around my nose and cover the redness here. I'm also going to take it and just put a little bit underneath my eyes just for some added coverage there. And the great thing about this foundation is that it really doesn't cake up at all. And I have some other, um, I bought the Bare Minerals, the pressed foundation to test out and I'm really not liking that at all. It really um, just looks cakey and just kind of wears off funny, but this one from Laura Mercier is just really beautiful. It really helps, like I mentioned, with oil control and it. I don't, I don't find it disappearing throughout the day. All right, that is the base done. Moving on to some color. For blush, I'm gonna use Max Gingerly. And I chose this with a lot of consideration because it is gonna serve a lot of different purposes for me. So I'm gonna first I'll just apply it to my cheeks. And this is the Sephora Precision Blush Brush. The second thing I'm gonna use Gingerly for is to fill in my eyebrows a little bit. So I'm going to just first brush them up with a spoolie and then take an angled brush and dip into gingerly and just fill them in lightly. This is actually, it's a fairly good match. I wouldn't put it on um, too dark, but just for, you know, just a light little, just filling in and making them um, not look patchy, gingerly works fine. Moving on to my eyes, I'm going to use a little bit more of the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder and I'm going to take it on a medium angled shading brush and I'm going to apply this pretty liberally all over my lid all the way up to my brow and this is going to brighten my eyelid and it's also going to mask any discoloration and veining. Okay, using Gingerly a third time, now I'm going to take it on my Sephora Professional Oval Blending Brush and I'm just going to get a little bit on the tip of the brush and I'm just going to run Gingerly a little bit above my crease. And this is just going to give a little definition and kind of warm up the look just so not it's just not like a solid block of um, white color. Gingerly was pretty much a perfect option for me because it helps, it's going to help me define the crease. It's neutral enough for that. That wouldn't have worked with a, like a bubblegum pink blush. And then Gingerly also matches my natural hair color just enough to be able to fill in my brows as well. Since everything on my face is really matte so far, I wanted to bring in just a little bit of shimmer and I'm using my new favorite eyeliner and this is from Trina Tarantino and it's in the shade Puppeteer and it's a deep plummy brown with some really beautiful um, plum shimmer in it. So I'm just going to apply this all along the upper lash line in a fairly thick line. The fourth product I'm going to use is a mascara and the one I'm currently using is from Julep and this is the American Beauty Volumizing Mascara. Sorry to move locations. The sun started setting and it was coming in too brightly over in the window. So I've moved over to the living room. So 
As a recap, I've used the um, Laura Mercier powder all over my face and used that as my concealer as well. I used that as kind of like the base for my eyeshadow. I used Max Gingerly Blush on my as a blush, as a crease color, and as my eyebrows. And I've used the Trina Tarantino Puppeteer for my eyeliner, and that gives that the whole look just a little bit of shimmer. You have to get kind of close to be able to see that, but the shimmer is there. And then I've also used the Julep Mascara. So I have one product left, and that is going to be for lips. And this is the one I've chosen is the Crest, the L'Oreal Crest Stick in Satiny Cocoa. So I'm just going to apply that straight from the tube. All right, this is my completed five product face, and it was a lot of fun to do. I'm really glad that I figured out gingerly early on because that was a tremendous help, and it let me have mascara, which was important. I knew I needed mascara and something on my lips, so gingerly was a good product to have. I would love to hear what five products you would use. I'm not going to tag anybody because this is such an old tag. I'm not really sure who has done it and who has not, but if you would like to do it, it was fun. I would recommend it, and if you don't make videos and you would like to leave it down in the comment section, I would love to read what five products products you would use. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you in my next video.